for episode seven, we're going to be working on the landscape features outside of the house. I'm going to be doing the timber deck today. We're going to be walking through how I do a procedural material. And that means if you do an array of one deck into 50, every single piece is going to have a slightly different um, amount of variation, color difference, that kind of thing. So it saves a lot of time and this is the method that I'm using at the moment for um, anything like bricks or timber decking. So let's just jump straight into it. Also, if you're interested in getting any feedback on your renders, make sure to check out my Discord server for free. Um, it's in the link in the description. Um, I've already created a, um, a bit of a community. There's a bunch of people there that are all helping each other out and providing feedback. And it's, um, it's a really cool cool vibe at the moment so check it out if you uh, if you want to get better and reach that next level um, so this is the scene at the moment um, building from the last few episodes we created all the glass windows and the glass doors and it's looking quite good um, but outside that's kind of lacking so what I'm going to do is create a mesh well I'm going to actually create a yeah cube and then I'm going to just drag it in and we're going to resize this to, if I go up to the dimensions, I'm going to change the x axis to uh, 0.12. And then we're going to change the z axis to 0, 0.0. Uh, what should that be? 0 0.02. So it's about 20 mils thick. Uh, tw yeah, 20 mils thick. And... 120 mils wide. I'm not sure what that is in, in uh, Imperial. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a standard nice piece of timber decking that we use in New Zealand. Also a new location by the way. Um, I've just moved and living in the countryside so it's pretty awesome. It's a bit further from the city but um, that's nice. Cool, so I've just created this piece of timber decking here. And I'm just going to sort of design this on the go. What I'm going to do before I do anything else is just figure out whether I want to do any steps down or just timber decking out and then grass. Because um, I think it'd be cool to do some sort of garden out here or um, just scatter some grass and um, maybe a bit of a border of garden. Or maybe even a pool. I'm just thinking. Okay, what I'm going to do is just array this out to start with. And then we can kind of um, play with it as we go. But if you just go to add modifier in the modifiers panel. And we go in the search bar. We type, well, array comes up. Because it's probably quite commonly used. And in the factor X, I'm just going to slightly shift that so there's a bit of a gap. I just do this by I and then in the count we're just going to extend that out till let's just create another cube and just this is what I used to measure there's probably a measure tool but I'm pretty old school uh, so this is 2.65 meters now in my head I think it would be cool to have like a couch like an outdoor living area here so if I make this like 5 meters that's kind of how big I want the deck to be. All right, so if I just extend this array out a little bit more, that kind of reaches that five meter range. And I can delete that now. So let's just have a quick look inside and see the extent of that deck. Just if it compositionally makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that, yep, that looks quite good. And let's just see where that wall is. Yeah, so this is essentially how much grass we're gonna see in landscaping, which is fine. It'll be a nice, nice little buffer. Um, cool. So, if I go into here, I'm just going to go mark seam. And I'm going to apply the, oh, uh, actually, do I apply transforms? Yeah, okay, that works. And then I'm going to go unwrap, texture density, set my TD. If you don't know what I'm doing here, check out like the first few episodes I walk you through my process for doing materials. Cool. 
So we've got timber decking. It's looking quite good. Now I'm going to work on the procedural material. So I have a um, little um, snippet up here from a previous project. Uh, it's called Glowbox. Go check the behind the scenes if you want to have a look. It's quite a it's quite a popular one. A lot of people have found that useful. So what we've got here, if I go new, we've got a principal B B S D F, and then we've got a multiply node. Uh, if you go up into search, you type in mix color, and then you change that to multiply down there. Um, we're going to drag those into there. Delete the math math node. So my allergies are playing up a little bit. It's too early in the morning. Um, all right, so that's looking pretty good. Now we've got our first albedo, and then our roughness and our normal. So out of the normal, we're just going to drag this out. We're going to type in normal. Uh, wrong one. Let's try that one more time. Try type in normal, and we're going to go normal, normal. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. Wait. <laughs> normal map. So you want to find. <laughs> It's like three different ones. Make sure it's called normal map. Drag that into normal. Cool. And then we've got that color ramp. Perfect. So now we just need to find a material. Um, if you guys want to, if you don't have any materials at the moment, you can like go on uh, Polyhaven, have a look at some free materials. Or you can also go check out Polygon. Uh, I've got an affiliate link in the description and you can also get some free materials out of that. If you want to have a look at um, the quality of those, I literally use Polygon for all, pretty much all of my jobs. Uh, and this little browser here is so, so good. I use it so much um, and it's really useful. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, materials here that I I just use on a regular basis and it's so easy to just click it and it just goes straight into the scene and it all, everything's set up. Okay, so for the materials, I'm just going to be using the same one that I used for um, for my project Glow House. This is the project here. Um, there's a full breakdown on how I achieve this, but what I'm going to do is copy, um, I'm going to like help you guys remake this whole thing but I always reuse stuff so I'm just going to copy this piece of decking and I'm going to paste it in here and that'll also hopefully bring the material in cool so that's the same material now what I'm going to do is just copy these textures and if you guys have a certain deck texture just chuck it in um, and you know that's fine you can just use whatever but I really like the one that I'm going to use so I'm just going to delete all that. So this is pretty much what it looks like when you bring your materials in. Okay, this is how it was, um, except for this bit here. So if we look at our, if I just change this over, this one here, cool. So if we look at this example here, We've got a add math node that is going into the vectors of all of these textures that we've just put in. Okay, so what we're going to do is go over um, converter vector math. And we're going to put that in there. And let's just drag color into vector. I know it's a little bit weird. And cool, so that color ramp goes into vector. And then we're going to create a mapping node. And we're going to put the vector of that into the vector of the add one. Let's just redo that. Cool. And let's get rid of that. Now this is where the magic happens, so pay attention. We're going to use a geometry node and we're going to put random per island in the factor. Okay, and then 
in that mapping node, we're going to create a texture coordinate. Uh, input texture coordinate. And let's put the UV into the vector. The first vector. Cool. So that's looking pretty good. Now in this here, we're going to go click on this. And then we're going to change the factor to like quite a light gray. So we basically want the gradient to look like this. Maybe a little bit darker. Because this is what's going to actually give the variation. And then the random per island also goes into this factor. And this is going to be like almost nothing. Let's just bring that up a little bit. supposed to be very subtle so let's have a quick look at how it looks so let's just go into cycles mode real quick and have a look cool that's actually looking quite good you can see the UVs are randomized although they are looking a little bit strange you can see quite a lot of variation, uh, quite a lot of uniformity. So I'll need to just play around with these settings a little bit. But you can see some of them are light and darker. Um, I might try to do random per island for the vector and see what that does. So you can kind of see what it's doing here. Let's undo that. Let's go generated into vector and see what that looks like. Now nah, we're going to do UV. Oh, actually, let's try object. I'm just playing around with the different inputs. So, object looks interesting. Let's try UV again. Cool. Okay. And let's just play around with this. See what that does. So, you can see that's kind of... This is creating the... If that's black and this is white, that's like... So, white is like no variation. And then if we change this, it's like, if that's black, that's like, everything's random. So that actually looks better, in my opinion. So let's just go down, let's have a quick look. So you can kind of see, like, it just looks entirely natural. There's color variation. Let's just have a quick play around with this. Let's see what this does. So this, this color right here, this actually creates the color variation. So if you want like a lot of light and dark darkness between the planks, you can kind of play around with that and you can kind of see that you're getting that effect. So let's just quickly go back into the camera view and see what that looks like. I think it looks pretty natural. Um, I think it looks, yeah, pretty solid. So if you guys have found this useful, I highly recommend checking out my Instagram at Oliver Higgins Architecture if you want to see the kind of work I produce as a professional. And also check out my Discord. You can have a chat with me um, and post your renders in there and have the community help critique your work. So we're always very welcoming and just want to help you reach that next level. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.